People, welcome back to Yard and Abroad TV. Please remember to hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I said, if you're not familiar with this channel, we talk about issues in Jamaica, the Caribbean, and the whole world, people. Wagwan viewers and subscribers, thank you guys once again for tuning into my channel. Much love and appreciation, people. So today, people, we're gonna talk about a young man that was found dead in Tobago. Yeah, man. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that is Tobago's second killing or third since the start of the year, people. So it goes on to say, missing man found dead in Tobago. A man who was reported missing on Wednesday was found dead last night in Tobago. The deceased has been identified as 21-year-old Isaiah Thomas. His body was discovered around 11 p.m. near the Bailey Bridge at Lambo and Abattoir, Tobago. A post-mortem has been ordered to confirm the cause of death. However, police have observed marks of violence on the body of the deceased. Thomas was last seen alive on Wednesday entering a vehicle. A cellular phone belonging to the young man was later found. So information right now people are very short and very sketchy at the moment. As I said, there's not a lot of information to go off um, to figure out what actually took place. But definitely, once I get more information on it, I will let you guys know as usual. But people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you a video of the grandmother talking about the incident after they went to identify this young man's body, people. And I mean, no said that is very, very, very emotional and heartbreaking figure. Identify somebody who you love. Um, they were missing and you was hoping for the best. But only to find out that this person and this your loved one has passed away and somebody have brutally murdered him people sad sad situation people in the video as well you can hear other people crying um yeah people let's check out the video right now all right So we have confirmation of the Confirmation of the body that was found was Isaiah Thomas, who went missing days ago. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very How do you? What happened? When you went, what happened? When I went to Beauty Body. Yes, when you went to Beauty Body. I'm going to see what it is, and as the officer said, it could not be a nice sight. So we opened the bag and we looked at it, and it's very much bloated. Bloated. What do you want to say to persons out there, his killers? Because I know you would have stated that he went into a, a car. Yeah. Tell us, how do you feel about that? Well, what I would say to them, even though you took his life, I don't think taking his life had made them gain anything because even though he took anything from them or they lose anything, taking the life would not let them regain what they had lost. But I do hope that they make their path straight with God. Mm -hmm. 
جولی تماس بشه زن ماره So confirmation that the body that was found in Lambo was that of Isaiah Thomas who went missing some days ago. He was found dead in Lambo today by police officers. Yeah, people, as I said, a very, very sad situation that this young man had to go, people. Like, as I say, yo, the crime and violence just need to stop. These demons that are going around killing innocent people, just, they need to get rid of people. And as usual, you know, people in the comment section, they are angry, they are hurt, and they are upset about what is going on. And this one person said, this is so heartbreaking, disheartening, and downright painful. You are not promised another day in the land of the living. So many are being forced to leave the land of the living before their time. Rest in peace, young man. May your family be strengthened at this very difficult time, Jano. Very, very sad. Another person said, these kind of news does get you real angry. Anxiety raised and make you feel to real cuss. I don't know what kind of plague running through Trinidad and Tobago. Nah, but it's bad. Eternal rest in peace, son. I do hope whoever is responsible for your death, justice will be served swiftly. Jano, man. Another person goes on to say, Deepest condolences to the family and friends. Really was hopeful that he would have returned to his grandma. Hope that justice prevail. Granny be strong, sleep in peace, son. It's, yo, people, let me say it's a very sad situation, you know. It's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking when your loved one is just get, it's just taken away, just like that, by these demons walking the land. Like, if you don't want to be here, why not leave? Take your own life. Leave, Jano. Another person said, this is very sad. Another family in pain and suffering. I don't know this man's story, but no one deserves to die like this. And for what? Tell me what on earth is more valuable than life, people, as me say. We don't know people's history. We don't know people's past or whatever. But who are you to take somebody's life? Eh? Who are you to take somebody's life like that? Yeah, people, as me said, it's a very, very sad, very, very sad situation, people. But once I get in more information on this, as usual, I will update you guys um, on this story. All right, people, blessings and much love and appreciation. Jano, very, very sad.